And with the rain coming, the Great Lakes Water Authority is bracing for the potential flooding that may happen over the next few days. We've had these worries so many times over these last couple of months. The GLWA says it is keeping crews to uh, man the pumps around the clock. Let's bring in Larry Spruill live on Detroit Seaside, side, which uh, Larry, we know it's been hit particularly hard this year. And they are focusing on this area, Devin and Kimberly. I just spoke with the Great Lakes Water Authority and they tell me they are ready. As we mentioned, they have crews at their pumping stations. Those crews will stay there until the end of the storm. But tonight they are asking people to get ready for potential flooding. This is a significant amount of rain. When you see this NOAA rain uh, forecast is six and a half inches uh, over the next three days. This is not something that is easy. Uh, for us to be able to pass. Suzanne Coffey, the interim CEO for the Great Lakes Water Authority, says the rain is coming and more than likely there will be flooding over the next few days. But Coffey says Great Lakes Water Authority is ready. We have our Connors Creek pump station fully ready, staffed, people there ready to troubleshoot if, if we need to. Coffee says give the complexity of the system's operations and the fact that pumps can only be activated during a storm event, troubleshooting can only occur in real time. Our fruit pump station is the station we've called our energy suppliers. They are staffing with us. Uh, in addition to the energy suppliers, we have contractors and consultants there to assist us so that we can uh, not only troubleshoot if we need to, but also diagnose some of the power related issues that we're having there. They're also asking residents in those flooding areas, especially on the Detroit's east side, to clean out their basements prior to the storm and flooding. I would suggest that you make sure that your valuables are out of the basement, your pets, yourself out of the basement. And also the city of Detroit is asking Detroiters to do that as well, to clean out their basements. Meanwhile, I spoke with people who live on the east side, right where we are, about this upcoming storm, their preparations, and how they feel about the rain and potential flooding. I am working on that part of the story all new tonight at 6. We're live on the Detroit's east side tonight. Larry Spruill, Local 4.